Martin Short is a global treasure. <laughs> that man is hilarious. Now, now, granted, let me admit my bias. He is not only a good Canadian kid. He grew up in my town. He's a Hamilton, Ontario, Canada kid. Went to my university, McMaster University, SCTV, Saturday Night Live. Guy's a genius. He's fantastic. However, uh, the other day, major outlet The Slant wrote what I can only call a hit piece on Martin Short. And it's the kind of article that I think kind of represents all that is wrong with online media today. Now, look, let me preface this by saying this. There is no rule that says you have to like Martin Short. You can think Martin Short is the most unfunny guy in the world. You don't have to be entertained by Martin Short. After all, Martin Short is an artist. Art is subjective. If it doesn't work for you and it doesn't hit you that right way, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But this article was scathing, and I want to talk about a, a little bit about what was the motivation of this article? Why was this article even written in the first place? How it represents, you know, a, a bigger problem in online media as a whole, both in blogs, podcasts, YouTube channels, outlets like Slant and things like that. And also some of the hilarious responses that a lot of people in Hollywood have been giving to this article. Now, I'm not going to bring it up on screen, but I want to read you just something. This, this kind of highlights the Slant article. Let me read just a thing about it here. I find Martin Short's whole shtick exhausting, sweaty, and desperately unfunny. Throughout his evolution from sketch comedy standout to uneasy movie star to twice-failed talk show host to enthusiastic song and dance man, I've wrinkled my nose. Every time he dresses up in a silly outfit or says something outrageous or mugs for the audience, I want to shout up my screen, why are you being like this? Now, this is basically the whole article, right? It runs through this whole article about all the reasons why Martin Short sucks. And again, let me emphasize, it's an art. It, not all art or artists have to be your cup of tea, right? But there's a couple of highlights here. These comments were made as an article specifically just about why I hate Martin Short, right? It wasn't in response to a new movie he's coming out where he's reviewing Martin Short's performance. Nothing wrong with saying, hey, I just watched this new Martin Short thing and I thought Martin Short was terrible in it. Look, that's part of the review process. Nothing wrong with that. But this wasn't that. It, it was literally just, I hate this guy, and I'm going to tell the world why I hate him. And it's not in connection to anything being reviewed. It's not in connection to anything else. Now, look, there are actors in this world that I don't think are necessarily very good, but I don't make standalone videos about why this person just sucks. I mean, it might come up in conversation that I'll mention I don't particularly like this, but... You know, uh, whatever. Now, this highlights a big problem uh, in this world of stuff. But what's really funny, though, is you take a look at this. Some people in Hollywood have been coming to Martin Short's uh, defense, if you will. Uh, ben Stiller just wrote out, Martin Short is a comedic genius. End of story. Mark Hamill then wrote, it's hard to believe people are actually debating whether or not Martin Short is funny. Newsflash. He's hilarious. Anyway, the variety, the variety article goes on and on about a lot of people jumping to Martin Short's defense. But again, the issue at hand isn't even, is Martin Short funny or is he not? Because maybe there's a lot of people watching this who don't necessarily think Martin Short is funny. But I have to ask the question, why is an outlet like Slant? And by the way, Slant is an outlet I like. I, I, I read, I'm not going to say I read Slant every day. I don't, but I read Slant at least once or twice a week. I really like Slant. I don't always agree with everything they say or do, but I, I actually think they're a very good outlet. I really do. And that's why it's especially concerning to me to say, why was this even written? Like, why is, the, why is just creating a hit piece? And, you know, it's funny. We have these conversations around the office here every once in a while that, you know, we'll sit back and review the week of videos that we've made. And, like, Jonathan, how many times have I lamented and moaned about, like, like, we'll look at our biggest performing things of the week, and I'll go like, Ugh. like, we did this great video on this one topic, and it did well, but this other video, that was a negative video, because we were reviewing yeah. something or talking about something, and, and I had a negative feeling about it, so I had to give my negative feeling. It's always frustrating to me when we see that it's oftentimes the negative stuff that gets the most attention, right? And 
I get it. When you're an online outlet and you know that the trend is people will click more on stuff that's negative, that's trashing, that's that's causing drama or whatever. I understand the motivation to that. But again, I just think this kind of represents a lot of blogs, a lot of podcasts. You just go, you know what? Being negative sells, uh, being, you know, being a toxic or whatever in a certain way that sells. So, and then you can recognize that because you go to a lot of YouTube channels or blog posts or whatever, and you look at every single one on them and every single one is about why this thing sucks. I'm angry at this. This is trash, blah, blah, like everything. And you kind of get what the motivation is. It's tough, but it's, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit when I see an outlet that I like very much, like Slant also kind of buying into that. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this episode, DraftKings. Football is back and in full swing with another week of epic games. And who's got you covered on the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Nobody's missing out on all the action this season. All DraftKings customers can take advantage of two new offers every game day this September. So get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use the code CAMPIA to sign up. New customers can bet just $5 and take home $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code CAMPIA. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-H-O-P-E-N-Y or text H-O-P-E-N-Y 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, Kansas, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. See dkng.co slash football for eligibility, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. But anyway, Rob, you had a chance to see what was going on here about this. What are your thoughts on this? Well, first of all, you know, Martin Short is currently in a show that I quite like, Only Murders in the Building. Love you know? that show. And I, it's a great show, and he's great in it. And so here's the thing, John. I think that we have a real problem that there are people that have earned respect. If nothing else, Martin Short has made a decades-long career in the entertainment business, which is a really hard thing to do. I don't care whether you like Martin Short or not. The fact that he's still there swinging, that is worthy of respect. And for this writer, for Slant, I mean, I, I, I don't like to come out and go, well, what have you done? But really, what has he done? Why did he choose today to pick on Martin Short? What, was, what, what did he hope to achieve? Like, if you're a writer and you're, you're writing something, what is it that you want people that are writing or reading what you've written to take away from this? And other than that this writer is an a-hole, what is the point? Why has he written this article? What, what am I supposed to learn from this, from what he's putting out into the world? I mean, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of something like Three Amigos, but I don't think that oh, God, that's- I am. I, I know I a lot of people do. A lot of people so love Three Amigos, but, <laughs> but I'm like, I, I don't know why, like I've written a lot of critical things and I've done a lot of critical episodes, but I've never gone after one person and just said, I hate everything you've ever done. When it's not connected to something that's uh, not, yeah, right not now. connected to anything. And, and I think that the biggest problem with, I think, our civilization as a whole is no one respects anyone anymore for anything. And, you know, if you've managed to eke out a career in any kind of difficult uh, profession, and show business is one of the most difficult, and he's got almost 50 years behind him, that alone, for no other reason, he's earned your respect. Or he should have earned your respect. Uh, this guy thought he was being brave and bold. <laughs> well, I mean, look, and again, I don't want to make this about slant because I use slant as, as I felt comfortable using slant as an example because they're actually an outlet that I like. I do, and me I like too. Quite, quite a lot, right? Uh, so this isn't about them because I, I don't like talking about other outlets, but it's, it's really more highlights the larger problem, right? Like, it's just a little stunning to see it come from a place like slant. Like we've gotten used to and accustomed to seeing, look, we know all that we know the darker corners of YouTube and blogging and podcasting and, and the internet. And we know we we've come to expect this type of stuff from there. It's just, it's a little bit concerning when I start seeing it coming from here. Like again, if a brand new Martin short movie came out and they saw it and they said, and they thought Martin Short was terrible in it, review it, say you thought Martin Short was terrible in it, say why you thought he was terrible. It's all in context. And that's, I just, again, I just don't understand what was the point of this article and why is it relevant? 
like at all right now, <laughs> other than I just really want to take a shot at Martin Short, who is universally acknowledged by everybody in the business as one of the sweetest human beings in the world. I just don't understand what the motivation was. What, even in terms of, you know, journalism, what, 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 again, are you reviewing something? Does this have something to do with an award he's receiving and you feel this is an undeserved thing? Or, or is it just to, you know what? It's Monday. I'm in a bad mood. I'm going to take a shot at somebody and just try to bring them down. A, I, I just don't, I don't get that. But anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Like maybe you're, listen, not everybody is a Martin Short fan. You don't need to be at all. But I don't know. What do you think about stuff like this? Whatever you think, jump down into the comments and let us know down there. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.